Hey everyone! In today's video I'm going to show you how to create this stylized gold or metal shader in Unity using Shader Graph. This effect is split into four parts. A specular, a highlight, a rim light and a mask. I'll also show how to add a normal map texture at the end. The base Shader Graph file can be found linked in the description along with the text version of this tutorial and some example settings. Let's go over the steps. We'll use a lit shader graph for this. Let's start with the specular. We'll use a dot product node between the world normals and the world view direction. The dot product will return 1 if the two directions are the same and minus one if they are totally opposite. So in this setup it's kind of like shining a flashlight onto the object. So we run this result into a smooth step node. This node helps us create a cutoff point and lets us control the blurriness or smoothness of the specular highlight. To add color to the specular we use a lerp node, blending between a base color and a specular color. Now let's create the highlight effect. We use a similar dot product approach, but this time we're going to add the main light direction. Adding the view direction and the light direction together, and then averaging them out We'll shift the highlight towards the light, without washing out the center. And again we put this through a smooth step node. You may have seen this one minus node here. The main light direction node is inverted for some reason inside of Shader Graph. But instead of negating that earlier, we invert the result here. Which actually gives a nicer result, because it prevents the light from whiting out the entire model. After that we can multiply the result with a color to tint the highlight, giving you control over how it looks. The highlight stays nicely to the side. For an outer metallic glow, we'll add a Fresnel effect. This effect gets multiplied with a color node to tint it. Finally, let's control where the metal effect shows up using a mask texture. The mask texture will be black and red, with the red parts being used for the metal effect and black for the rest. So we read the texture with a texture 2D sampler, and by lerping over the red channel, we can isolate which parts of the model will have the metal effect. You can fill the other areas with a main texture or any other shader results you prefer. Here I'm just adding a diffuse texture. And then multiplying the whole result with a custom tune lighting setup. The tune setup here is just using the light direction and the normals to create a tune ramp. This simple version is also attached in the graph linked in the description. So if you want to add more surface detail, you can use normal maps. Unlike typical shader graphs, you can't just plug it into the master node, as this will only affect the behind the scenes shading of the master node. It won't affect any of the nodes we've added here. We'll need to replace all the world normal nodes we've used so far with a sample texture 2D node using our normal map, and transform the normal from tangent to world space using a transform node. There's a few nodes we will need to replace, the one in the specular, the one in the highlight, the one in the rim light, and the one in the quick tune ramp. And now with a normal map it looks like this. And that's it, that's the stylized gold slash metal shader in Unity. Feel free to combine the shader with your own setup, or combine it with my tune lighting shader graph from a while ago. If you found this tutorial helpful, Check out my other videos, and there's many more tutorials on all sorts of game dev topics on my GitHub site. A big thank you to my patrons who make these videos possible. 
and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.